Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jack Pottle. I'm co-founder and chief medical officer of Oxford Medical Simulation. So we're a virtual reality medical simulation company and we do simulation for training, for assessment and recruitment in medicine and in nursing and now interprofessional simulation as well. So I'll explain that a little bit to you. The whole focus of what we're doing is taking the traditional way we do simulation and scaling it. So delivering simulation but saving time, saving space and saving money and letting hospitals, letting hospital systems and sim centres deliver training that's objective, that is standardised and is seriously high quality. So we're delivering training that feels real, that improves performance. So let me show you how it's going. If I can see someone doing this scenario, I'm going to pop you around here. So we use Oculus Rift S headsets, so it's about getting a sense of being in that environment, totally immersed, so you can do this anywhere, but you can also do this on screen. So it's screen-based for scale and VR for immersion. And as you can see in this scenario, this is an interprofessional scenario. We've got a patient there, we've got a uh, doctor in this scenario, and there's two people interacting as in real life. So they can talk to each other, they are able to express things in their face, they're able to do non-verbal communication, and there is a patient there. And again, this is about the whole patient journey. It's about a history. It's about communication, examinations, investigations, interpreting the results of those investigations, documentation, prescription, and treatment, all the way through that process, with everything in it being completely dynamic. So you can do whatever you want to in real life, in real time, and receive incredibly detailed performance analytics, rich data and metrics to be able to show performance improvement, both to the individual, but also to the institution. So as an institution, you can prove return on investment, you can see the levels of training people are going through, and then you can offer them further training if they want to. And as I say, it's for training, for assessment, and for recruitment, so the whole gamut of what we do in simulation.